front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Ton and Ammon? <clears throat> Am I pronouncing that at all right? Please let me know if I mess it up. Very happy to hear it. And House White Wolf as well. Welcome, guys. So nice to hear all this appreciation from people who are new to the life part of this whole thing. Very good. Very, very good. Hi. Um, so, yeah, we're playing in the OCC. Uh, I'm playing Wood Elves. I'm playing against Mon Gloom's Kemri. Let's start by having a look at the leaderboard. I am currently in fourth place with 3 1 2. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, the Kemri are actually very close. Fifth place. So let's have a look at that. Now, the teams that we've got. Sadly, I lost my Mighty Blow piling on Line Elf. That was, that was a pity. That was a pain. However, we do still have one other Mighty Blow piling on in the form of the tree. He has plus movement, so piling on is not that bad since he's able to get up. Uh, we have an Agility Tackle Dancer. We have a Movement Tackle Strip Ball Sidestep Dancer, a Blood Sure Hands Accurate Thrower, two Rookie Catchers, a Kick and a Dodge. Right? We also get three Journeymen for the Line of Scrimmage, which also means we're on 1620 actually, so we do not get a Wizard. Hey there, Mongloom. Welcome. Happy to hear it. Mongloom and his team has uh, four Guardians, one with Block, one with Mighty Blow, and one with Guard Stand Firm. He's got Mighty Blow on this Blitzra, and look at this guy, Jimi Hendrix. A Blitzra with Blood Step, Agility, Strength, and Frenzy. Wow. He's epic. His throwers have Block and Tackle, both of them. Chuck Berry, however, also has Minus Movement, Minus Armor, Strip Ball, Frenzy, <laughs> and Wrestle. He's special. And then we have a dirty player here and a dirty player sneaky get wrestle there. Uh, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12 players total. All right, let's do this, Mongloom. I think it's a fun team and I think it's a spectacular, spectacular couple of players. What was that, Mongloom? Kill um, Jimi Hendrix? Will do. Well, no, Mac. I mean, the good thing is he has two tackles that are not mighty blows. That that helps, right? I mean, for a team like mine facing a bunch of mighty blow tackle, if, say, both his Blitzrust had had mighty blow tackle piling on, this would have been way scarier for my team. <clears throat> not getting a wizard kind of sucks. Although, I could spring for 70k of my own money. Way too broke for that. So, uh, 80k, huh? Alright. I'm just gonna get a babe. Yeah, sure. We're not rich. <laughs> well, I can think of one person who will not enjoy that death of Jimmy. And that would be Mongloom himself. Oh, I'm typing in the wrong window there. What's going on? So, there is a weather dome, which does not look great. Alright. He won the toss and chose to defend first. look. Does the injury magnet also have a niggle perchance? No. Yeah, choosing not to put the uh, the two guardians on the line makes a lot of sense. Aww. 
I was about to blitz that. That's mean. Wild Engineer, welcome back and thank you for the seven months resub. So nice. So yeah, not a whole lot of punching power in my team, obviously. I don't know. I I used to be very much in the receive first camp, but I've kind of come around from that a little bit. <clears throat> I think the uh, the ability to one turn also has a lot to do with it. So. The dirty players in the middle. How about we just punch there? Hmm, do we want to blitz one of these guys? But obviously he's got a bunch of frenzy. So let's blitz that guy. Uh, you get to punch here, which means we need an assist there as well, which leaves us with two catchers on this flank. So that's fine, really. All right, here goes nothing. Uh, do we want to blitz that, or are we going to actually blitz here? Because three assists might be a bit much to put on there. Then again, blitzing this is not great either. Ah, we'll see. There goes my kicker. Another reason to uh, uh, to want to kick first, I guess. Jesus Christ! So yeah, Blood Bowl is a thing that's fun and stuff. Well then, uh, I've got another game tomorrow. I'm playing goblins there. It's probably not going to be much better, is it? Um, I wanted to block diagonally so, so that I'd get still get three blocks here, which meant the tree would go before the others and the tree does not have block. And it has loner. So I figured I'd do the uh, the 2 plus with reroll first. If I had, if uh, he hadn't been removed, I would have opened with a block there and there. Uh, Wild Engineer, to me, that really depends on the race availability. I mean, if they start off with eight races again, it might be a while before I fully switch over. I might play some ladder there, but uh, I mean, I'm mostly a league coach, so it will depend on the leagues I'm playing in. But uh, <clears throat> oh, 
this is so bad. So very bad. Oh. And down goes my dancer. At least he's not out yet. Ha! Dodged it. Here comes the blitz. If we choose not to stand firm, then he doesn't get as good of a He's not going to foul. Uh, so I just... Oh, he is going to foul. He has to sneak and get still. I missed him. Damn it. Ah, that was bad. I think he was hidden behind all the, uh... Ah! Whoops. Pay attention, Sage. I mean, yes, starting off with the rock and the snakes is bad, but this is your own doing. Then again, this makes the foul on the dancer less appealing. Well then, Apple's gone, Dancer's gone, Kick gone. I, uh, I snake the uh, pickup uh, DD before making my own finish blocks. I've also lost two players <clears throat> before I got to make a single block myself on my receiving drive, so that's fine. That's nice. No, we don't want to be here. We want to be here. And here. something. Oh. <sighs> well, this is going to be fun. I guess the tree is next. <laughs> A 
least I got one player out. KO on a... Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, the Dancer does come back if we score, so that's nice. But yeah, this is a bit of a mess, really. A loner, sure. I mean, gotta get those mighty blow hits in, right? Just a stone, I'll take it at this point. <coughs> Two die the tree. Goes down. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here right now. Make the foul a bit less appealing. You can get one assist. Oh, or punch it, Lona. Haha! <laughs> Things are looking up. Hey, and it's a re removal. Sneaky get so good. Best skill ever. All right. So, how far can you reach? You can reach this far. How far can you walk? You can walk this far. That seems like a plan. You can get up. Good. And then you can be. I think I like here. Because it makes the assist and foul situation a bit less drastic, I guess. Okay. Okay. Hey, Itself, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. This game started off lovely. A rock removed my kicker. Then uh, I snaked picking up the ball before making any blocks. And then uh, a pow knocked down my star dancer who got removed by a foul. However, I did remove two players already. This one's a KO and this one was a send off, but still, you know, it's progress. Uh, uh, inducement situation, I have a babe. And I have fame, which didn't help with the rock. <laughs> of course, the, uh, the accurate here does, and pass, does mean that I have some, uh, flexibility in my game plan. Which forces him to spread out, and of course being spread out as Kemri is not as nice as, say, being spread out as Wood Elves is. 
We got this catcher blitzed by the super scary Blitzra. Three dice into two dice. Two dice are good. What's the range on this? Two, four, six, eight. Okay. This guy's the minus movement one, right? Hey, Doc Mark. Uh, well, um, you'd have less, less dodge, so disconnecting uh, isn't as easy. Um, you can afford to be connected a bit more because of armor. Um, basically, this this running back and hiding with the ball uh, in the backfield is something I only do when I feel somewhat forced to. Let's see, this one can reach that square. So I'd have to make two GFIs after catching and leaping in order to be free of him. And then I'd be like there. That's a lot of running, but okay. Are we okay with doing that this turn? Because we could also just hide out here for a turn. Yeah. This works, right? That one can reach. This one can reach. This one cannot. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. So suppose we go here. Yeah. And then we use this guy to blitz. Nice, good. Yeah, there we go. Armor six. Armor six holds. Let's get this guy up there. Here. Oh, I won into a two. Now that's efficiency. So yeah, his armor six held. That's the thing that happens. Let's see about this two die here. It's good. He's got to stand firm. He's choosing not to stand firm. Which lets me move him. Meh. Meh. Sure. Put him there. Yes, please. Ooh. Ooh. Armor breaks. A KO. Well, we're not piling on that KO, that's for sure. Mighty blow doing a thing. Right. That's lovely. Well done. Well done, Horde Master. Good job. Mm. This is the only one who could connect. Do we mind that? Not especially. But sure. Why not? Yeah, the grab caught me by surprise. I so assumed that he would uh, use stand firm that I didn't even think about where I'd push him. Mm -hmm. 
So he kept one of his two tacklers back, which is nice. Because the other tackler I just knocked down. You know, the armor six one, which is clearly malfunctioning. He didn't go for the surf, that's good. Because he actually had a chain push surf option. Which I was sort of expecting to, uh, to see come into play. Mm. No, this makes sense. Because... Oh wait, no, that guy acted already, of course. On the bright side, I still have three rerolls. That's not awful. Let us see. This guy can get almost anywhere. That's scary. That's scary. This is also scary, actually, but we can probably fix that. Okay, so... Suppose I'd want to hide away from you. Guy goes here. <laughs> then that guy goes there. <laughs> we, or we just blitz this, actually. That's, that sounds better, doesn't it? Hey. <laughs> Punch the armor six again. Fail to break the armor six again. Mm. 
I mean, if I was going to fail a roll there, then this is quite an okay one. Of course, he does immediately go sploosh. No, he merely goes stunned. Jeff! Wow, a year! Thank you, sir. So yeah, the good news is I've got the tree on the two frenzy guys, which should make this surf slightly less appealing. And he can now choose which side of things to actually make a problem out of. That's that's a problem, all right. <laughs> no. No, I didn't really expect him to. So yeah, that's uh, 3 plus 3 plus to get out. And then we're still heading in the right, wrong direction. Three, three, two. I mean, I've had worse, but it's not great now. Uh, easy as that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 four, three, two to get out. Not much I can do about it either. So we want to be somewhere out here, then. Huh? Well, here goes. This is four plus. Ooh, three, three. Now it's three plus. That was very efficient rolling, indeed. <laughs> okay. So, that happened. <sighs> I have to say, <clears throat> of all the Ligers I've had on my teams, this one... This one is... Um, yeah. Doing quite okay. Bloody elves. Also that slice of dice. Welcome. <laughs> this one is not a tombstone. Yeah. So we both have three players out. <laughs> I have a babe and I'm getting this guy back. I could actually outnumber him. That would be funny.
Welcome, Sijian. Yeah, that was, uh, that was nice. I was confused by your use of the word catch, but you didn't mean <clears throat> the catching of the ball, but rather... The elf factions. Oh, definitely Dark Elves, Lieutenant Random. Um, if you're if you're new or you're looking to introduce a new uh, coach to the game, check out this. Didn't I make a link for that? Could one of my mods hook uh, Random up with the uh, the calf tutorial game? Congrats, Random Boy. Well done. Um, because I consider Dark Elves and Orcs the two best races to uh, for our new coaches to learn the game with. Okay, he's going for the three die on the catcher. Fair enough. Catcher gold. Big shoes to fill Eki. Eki goes down. And he is fine. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, players like this are pretty hard to stop once they get in range of the end zone. That's nice. So then the question becomes, dare I three die with the tree? Thank you, Manus. So yeah, uh, Lieutenant Random, if you're new yourself or you have uh... <sighs> Alright, so he blitz that. Yeah, sure, let's pile on the skeleton, shall we? Whew. Could be worse. We have three rerolls and two turns, so I'm quite willing to leave. Nope. No snakes here. Just success. Thank you, Bongo. He gets both KOs back, so that kind of sucks. At least we get ours back. So it's 11 versus 10. That's actually not too bad for turn... What are we? Turn 7 of his? This guy has one star player point, and this guy has four. So let's swap this around. Do we want to give him the opportunity to foul the tree? Not really. Oh, okay. Could have set up for the back wall. Yeah, that one passing turn was very, very pleasant. But this is such a lovely player, though. He's <laughs> really awesome. Glad to have you back, Sigurd. Oh, by the way, um, if any of my viewers happen to be at Sweden Rock, uh, what is it, next week? Next, that's next week. Well, almost. Then um, <clears throat> I'd love to have a beer. All right, yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense, uh, Lieutenant Random. Uh, in that case, let me hook you up with the Reddit Rookie League. There you go. That's the the best place for uh, for new coaches to learn the game, and they do a lot of organization of leagues. You can get training matches against uh, experienced coaches who will act actively help you learn, and not just. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. This guy's got tackle. Uh, gee, what's the place called again? I forgot. So let's see if we can get this guy. There. Wait. That's not failing a dodge. Good. This guy could technically get under there too with catch. I think I'd like that better. Okay, fair enough. Three. Storage. That's not a problem really. Still interesting. If I'd made that blitz, I could have actually sent this guy to fill up the gap as well. Oh, oh wait, he's got frenzy, of course. Yeah, fair enough. So then you can just go and grab the ball. Yeah, I would have loved to send this guy after it, but I figured if I didn't get the blitz, I didn't want him out there. Maybe that was wrong. No! Alton Nundil, the journeyman, is no more. I mean, if we score, that's not really a problem. Yeah, journeyman life, short and painful, as it should be. Yeah, I actually went into turn <laughs> uh, seven with three rerolls almost, except I got a uh, turn. Uh, well, no, I went into turn 8 with 3 rerolls almost, except I got a turn 7 plus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Yeah. If he could just fail his pickup, that would be great. German will be back. Probably. We have a babe after all. So now the scoring threat. Uh, this is a blitz rod that has frenzy. It's a bludge step, frenzy, agility, strength, blitz rock. Boot with three assists. Uh, Kimberly don't have catchers. Stun, still annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. Ooh. Jesus! Uh, he failed to pick up and it bounced into the hands of the agility strength blood step dude. So no touchdown for me. Let's punch the armor six again. Well, we're very consistent in this show. Yeah, if I'd had my strip ball, I'd still have a chance of knocking it out of uh, the blitzer's hands. But sadly, sadly stuff came up. Like a boot. Um, the tough thing about Skaven as a new coach is um, your best players have strength too, which means, you know, getting good blitzes in with them is not great. Um, one of your biggest assets is your ability to make one turn touchdowns which for new coaches is usually a struggle and most importantly you have armor seven on pretty much everyone which means you take a lot of punches also you have less block so yeah um there's there's quite a few factors that make dark elves very well suited for a rookie coach i mean <clears throat> you start off with four block you start off with blanket digitally four and uh, you start off with blanket armor eight. All of those are very good uh, reasons. Hey, UPA, welcome back, dude. 
uh, very good reasons to prefer um, playing as dark elves. I mean, wood elves, wood elves work more easily than Skaven for a new Okay. There we go! <laughs> yeah! I got two players out! He's down to ten. So it's ten versus nine now, unless my KO stays out, which it does. So Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. Oh, and I'm on defense, of course. I knew that. Yeah, the bait failed. Boo, babe. We'd all start off with two Blodgers, yes. The War Dancers. But <clears throat> the thing is, Wood Elves are definitely a good team. However, they will tend to teach you a playstyle that, um, that I would not recommend focusing on. Hey, Calf. Um, probably not. Probably not, but we might. How is um, Mallorca? I would go with Mighty Blow, uh, Kurisu. I was just saying uh, that if any other of my viewers will be at Sweden Rock, that I'd love to have a beer with them. Well, I doubt I'll lose at this point. Yes, Mooper agreed. I mean, it's possible, of course, but... Oh, he doesn't have Dirty Player anymore. That's nice. Just when the th tree goes on the line of scrimmage, he no longer has Dirty Player. We don't have kick because he got removed <clears throat> before. Oh, this is good. Riots are nice. Now let's have him fail the pickup a couple of turns in a row. One might be enough, really. annoyed that I haven't even managed to stun Chuck Berry. Armor 6 has been uh, really good to him. But, you know, all things considered, this could still be worse. At least the ref was fairly on point. Oh, this is a block one. Ooh. Aha! Dodge doing things. Well, maybe he will. Maybe he will, Kaniwa. We still have one, remember? Five, six, seven, yeah. I mean, he doesn't have a reroll.
first fail to pick up. He's like, dare I go forward or not? Sideways. Okay, fair enough. Sure, I'll stay here. Hey, Argatha, welcome. Oh no, he's rooted. <laughs> That's so awful. Armor six on the tree. Oh, finally got him. About oh, eleven into eleven. I could have gotten. I could have gotten a bloody two guardian with that. Ah, oh, he lives. Sad day for everyone, really. Star player points on the agility guy is nice. That's the main reason I blitz with him instead of with the movement dude. I'm uh, I'm honestly sorry, Regen saved your dude, because I think with my strength you would have finally gotten rid of him. Yeah, we're down three, and he's down three, but he had one bench. So indeed, only one player fewer. Oh no, I'm rooted! That's so awful! And unrooted again. Yay! Whew. Fine. That would have broken most things. but it's not even close to breaking a tree. <sighs> yeah, I really, really like the movement on the tree. It just means getting knocked over is no big deal. Especially when all the dirty players have gone. Aha! Dodge saves us again. This is why I like that he doesn't have mighty blow tackle. Oh, thanks, Cal. You get unrooted when you get knocked down. Yes, exactly, Argatha. Blitz that, can I? Because he's got strength for a blood step. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Two GFIs, huh? Well then. Let's fail the first, use up the reroll, then do the second anyway. Nope. So, do we blitz anything? Blitzing that is really shite. I do have one sidestep. It's a bit far. Well, the thing is, if I don't have any decent blitz, I might just blitz with the tree. I mean, what else am I going to blitz? Nope. That skill was, I mean, aside from the fact that it doesn't work like that in, uh, in Blood Bowl 2, that skill was uh, uh, initially released as working on everyone, and then they errated it so that it would only work for, uh, <coughs> for halflings. Hey there, Nanto. So yeah, I am actually blitzing with my prone tree. GFI. That's good. Yeah, I guess I'd rather push him. I actually considered it. So the good news is his only tackle is actually the ball carrier. Hey Nanto. Fair enough. And this time. Why is there piling on on the tree? Because he has movement three. He can just get back up after piling on. Makes sense, right? Yes, you should, Dodto. Are we talking woodies or uh, halflings? No, you can't pile on while rooted, but <clears throat> they don't spend all their turns rooted. With movement three, I don't value jump up that highly, actually. I would consider dodge, uh, because it... If, if you're Wood Elves, your opponent's Tacklers are going to be very busy, so they won't have the time to actually dedicate a Tackler to him, and if they do, then the rest of your Elves are safer. Alright, 
so. We blitz that. We want you to be here. I like this spot for you now. That's lovely. Why don't we bring you down here? No need to follow. And we're not piling on armor. I'd gladly pile on a stun, but otherwise, it's not happening. Okay, getting stuck in. Interesting. Gets it. Could go back out again. It's got <coughs> Blodge after all, and agility. So, Catra is out for now. Well, still none, though. If they have... I mean, most Chaos don't have a lot of tackle. And if they need to use their tackle to hunt the tree, that, that's one money blow tackle that's not hunting your usual squishies. And, I mean, you're talking about um, block, money blow, claw, tackle. You, most teams don't have three or four of those, right? I mean, it's taken my chaos ages to have two Mighty Blow tackle again.
let's try this again. That's fine. It just means we can't pile on that one. But we can keep this guy busy for a bit. <laughs> doubles, double strength agility, yeah. Yeah, I don't like sidestep uh, for doubles when you can have stand firm for normals. Absolutely agreed. Uh, two thirds the, pr the price, but yeah. Fair enough, never agree. Fair enough. But given how he later rolled strength and agility, the sidestep and dodge suddenly turned out to be quite okay for him. Okay, now let's see. Three. So we'd have to have three assists to block that. Four. Oh, six. That's actually possible. The game ends pretty much as it begins. That was awful. I mean, if he'd be here with his blood step, things would be looking quite okay. But now, suddenly, Things are pretty, pretty scary and bad again. <sighs> At 
least these players are relatively slow. Tomb Guardian is going to score the touchdown, isn't he? I mean, handoff, run. Ah, two, four, six. Well, he still might. And the armor break hurts too. So yeah, that's two stuns. Not a lot of room. Guard. So, options include trying to get in the way, not enough players. So, the steal it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's too far. One, two, one, two, three, four. Fuck. Yeah, well, shit happens, I guess. I even helped him not to have to make the uh, GFI there. Catcher going down. I mean, if he's willing to risk the surf, we might win. Ah, 
because that block, that block has 181 written all over it. Good. Boo. He's fine. He's fine. Congratulations, Bongloon. Well done. Not a lot of players, though. <coughs> Come on. Good. That helps. Nine dudes. All right. Well. Okay. We're just going to get a riot anyway. We don't need that one. Third, because this is a two die already. And this is three, four, five, six. And he's got six as well, so that's actually really bad. Wellington.
could we do that part with the blitz? Not really. Yeah, we could. No. <laughs> but we could walk from there. And from... Well, so much for that idea. Oh, now we roll pushes. Yeah, I mean, having to rely on a two-die push with the tree is, of course, always less than ideal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it happens, right? Can't even foul anything. All right, that was... That was a good game. Yes, Morton, the tree has movement. That's why I gave it piling on. Well then, that was that was a good game. That was fun. I mean, the the oh, sure I'll buy Glorian with uh, 190k. 
So no, I won't buy the minus armor or the rookie. Oh, good MVP for him. So that means we actually have nine healthy players? Really? Do we really have nine healthy players? We really have nine healthy players. Wow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.